We're going? Yeah. Recording? Yeah. Cool. All right. By the way, this is insanely legitimate. I love this. It feels so official. It even sounds good. Just for you guys. We can take that out. <laughs> this, is, this is how you get warmed up for your beam session. My name is Nick St. Louis. I'm the leader of the Foot Collective, and this is the story of Beam Tribe. All right, Beam Tribe, scene one, direct view. That's intimate. Action. So a major lesson that we learned at TFC on our journey up until now, through teaching seminars, through interacting on social media, and through the creation of the Foot Nerd program, is how valuable a sense of community is when it comes to health. Uh, you know, humans are social animals. We're wired to depend on each other, uh, to help each other, support each other. And, you know, it's why community is one of our five pillars of health at TFC. And it's a big reason community is at the core of the Beam Tribe project. So we've always had sort of a sense of community within TFC through the people who purchase our products, uh, who attend our events. But we really wanted to understand how to build a sustainable community. And in order to do that, we had to research about what creates a community. Right? What are the elements needed to build a community? And just like you can examine the anatomy of a humans and see the individual parts of the human body, uh, you know, we wanted to really know what does the anatomy of a community look like? And we learned some really cool things. The first one of those elements is a no-brainer. It's that a community requires there to be a group of people. One person isn't a community. You need many people. A second one that was fairly unique is that communities always have a defined space a home, a home for that group of people to interact, to engage, to communicate. And for us, uh, it's a digital platform. It's a digital home so that we can have a global community. And that home is located within TFC app. And like I said, that's where members can engage, communicate, and most importantly, share their experience to help others and inspire others and guide others to doing the same. Another element that a lot of communities have is a sense of similarity. So a shared culture, uh, a language, uh, a set of unique customs or a set of values. And for us, that is the tribe credo that we've included in Beam Tribe. Another element that we often see in communities is a distinguishing characteristic. And for our community, for Beam Tribe, that is the balance beam. And it's the fact that we all relate and look at the balance beam as a tool that we can use to improve our physical and mental fitness. Uh, communities often have a name for us, that's Beam Tribe. And a last element that we kind of look at, and that, that is really a, a really important one, it's kind of the secret sauce with a community, is a feeling of belonging and pride. And we feel that the Beam Tribe credo and the underlying purpose that we all share in making daily progress on our health process or on our health journey uh, creates a sense of belonging and pride. And being able to interact with each other and authentically share what we've worked on in order to help guide others um, that really helps to kind of be the binding mortar that brings our whole community of people from all around the world, from different backgrounds together to acknowledge that we are part of a community. And that community doesn't have to be in one physical spot, um, but it does need those elements. You know, a group of people, a defined space, a sense of similarity, a distinguishing characteristic, a name, and a feeling of belonging. All right, why was Beam Tribe created? That's a great question. And I think to understand why Beam Tribe was created, uh, requires a little bit of background information of what we learned and what we did at TFC in 2019. So 2019 was a big year for TFC events. Uh, with a fairly small team, we delivered over 35 sessions. We covered six countries, 30 different cities. And from that, we received a ton of feedback. Um, we also filmed a seminar and a workshop at the beginning of last year. And we decided to offer that as an online um, education product at what we consider to be a pretty affordable price. And to start 2019, the mission with events was super clear. Number one, simplify health. Number two, provide a really fun learning experience. And most importantly, number three, was to gather feedback from everyone that came to an event so that we can improve for 2020. The first lesson we learned was that information alone doesn't always lead to change, right? People can have all the best information in the world, but if they don't have the tools to be able to implement that information in their life, makes it very hard to get results. We also realized that the same approach we took to simplifying feet and hips could be applied to all dimensions of health, or what we call the five pillars, which are food, movement, sleep, the mind, and community. We realized that 
getting groups of adults smiling and playing together and acting like children um, actually makes the information you deliver much more powerful and much more memorable, which was, was a really big insight for us. We realized that we underestimated the power of digital education offerings and the interest people had in learning digitally um, and how, how far our reach could be in terms of accessing people across the world. And a big part of kind of midway through 2019 was the conclusion that it was time to start to create our own platform to sort of unify and connect everyone that became part of this expanding global community. And so based on those lessons that we learned from 2019, we got to work on a couple of different projects. So in May of 2019, we began the development of TFC app. And the goal with TFC app was really to build a health centric social media platform that provided information for free to anyone wanting to learn about health uh, and also to act as the home for the different communities we were forming within the Foot Collective, you know, with Beam Tribe, with the Foot Nerd program. We expanded our learning and education offerings to cover all five pillars of health, which was a very big transition for us. Intimidating at the start, but actually um, became really simple as we started delving into understanding these other pillars. We invested our resources into the 2020 seminar and into filming an amazing event in May, which would be our new digital offering for the seminar. We refocused events to prioritize the experience um, because that was a big piece of feedback. You know, we gave a lot of information in the 2019 seminar, but people loved the experience of being there and connecting with other people. And one thing that people requested was that they have more information after the fact that they could consume afterwards. So we really focused on the experience and then tried to give people more information than they could use kind of gradually throughout their life. And a big thing that we learned from the fact that information alone doesn't always lead to progress was to essentially learn and embed principles of behavior design uh, into focusing on helping people change, not just giving them the right information. <laughs> All right, <laughs> take a little breath. But yeah, every morning, it's a good way to wake up. Jump on the beam, get the mind settled, get the body tuned up. Well, Felix, one of the beam team guys, says that he'll literally kind of like envision surfing and just pretend he's on a wave. And it's like, hey, if you can imagine it, then it can feel like it. Oh, even the water moved. So the creation of Beam Tribe is an interesting uh, story because it really was the perfect storm. Uh, in February 2020, Beam Tribe was still really just a concept and our full focus was on refining the 2020 seminar based on the feedback that we got from our Australia tour to kick off the year. Um, and it was really, you know, the 2020 seminar was a completely different structure. It was more experience based um, and it was the first education event that we expanded into all five pillars of health. So we really wanted to keep improving and learning and sort of refine it to the point where we were happy with it for the May filming, because that was going to be our new digital offering. Uh, then the pandemic hit and we canceled our events, including the upcoming film seminar. So there was not going to be a film seminar for 2020, but we immediately went into action to take Beam Tribe from a concept into reality, thinking that not only would it be a better offering than the film seminar we had ready, but it could be a much more powerful tool for people to improve their health because it blended community, uh, but it also allowed us to quickly iterate and evolve content on a weekly basis instead of filming once a year. Because a year is a long time. We filmed at the start of 2020 or 2019, and for, from there to the start of 2020, we learned a lot. And it would have been nice to have a platform that we could share as we're learning. And we found that Beam Tribe really satisfied that. So. Um, when the pandemic hit, although we had to cancel our events, our online seminars started doing quite well. Um, there was a lot of demand. People wanted to learn at home at a time where health was more important than ever. And so we rolled all that extra revenue into Beam Tribe and into the TFC app development team to create a really robust platform as quick as we could uh, for a May 1st launch. We assembled a team of health storytellers who embody what we consider our definition of health. Um, and are deeply involved in their health process to sort of kick us off with Beam Tribe content and start sharing their experience to help others. And that brings us to today, where we currently have around 200 members in the Beam Tribe community, which includes about 115 foot nerds. It includes professional athletes from the NBA, NHL, NFL, 
who currently use Beams as part of their training. Um, and it also includes the first group of members who joined the Beam Tribe community uh, since we launched in May. So, you know, really Beam Tribe was a solution to the problem of reaching people and connecting people in a time of separation uh, and in a time where health was really getting a, a powerful spotlight and there was a bit of chaos going on. And we feel that from that intention to solve the problem of connecting people and relaying the message of health blossomed something that was that's pretty special uh, and that we're really proud of and that we look forward to continue evolving. This clapper is really well made. We talked about that before. Like, it's legitimate wood. You don't see like this anymore. Oh, should I say shit? No, that's not gonna be in there. Maybe it'll be in there. I'll let you figure it out. A crucial element in every community, like I spoke about before, is sort of a set of values or beliefs. You know, what do we believe in? Uh, what do we stand for as a group? What do we value? And so we, really tried to organize our principal beliefs and our principal values into what we call the Beam Tribe Credo. And they include three elements. Number one is openness. So being open to new experiences um, and applying sort of a, a growth mindset to a lifetime learning process, which is really what health is, right? It's an aspiration to be healthy, but it requires a lifelong admission that you don't know everything and that you have to keep learning. So being open to that concept was very important. The second credo element was, is, or is dedication, which reflects sort of the shared commitment to daily self-improvement that we all sign on to when we, when we align with the Beam Tribe uh, community. And the third one is serenity. And, you know, serenity is a desire to seek a mental state of being calm, um, untroubled, and having control over our emotions so that we can conserve energy and use that energy for things that matter. Uh, use that energy for things like taking care of ourselves, for maintaining healthy relationships, for spending time with our families, um, and for helping other people who we might encounter along the way that we can share our journeys with to inspire them and help them also start to make daily improvements. All right, I want to talk about sharing. So a major theme that runs throughout all of our content we create at, CF at TFC is the mindset of sharing. You know, sharing our experience instead of teaching information was something that we learned as sort of uh, a tribe through discussions at our 2020 nerd retreat. And it was really quite profound, the realization that we need to share instead of teach. I think teaching implies that you know the truth, that you know things. And sharing implies that you're simply offering the story of your experience with the intention that it might inspire or help other people. So sharing implies also that you're still learning and everyone at TFC deeply identifies with being lifelong learners. So I think that's a good fit. You know, the sharing mindset is something that trickles into everything we do at TFC. And that includes the content that our team of storytellers shares through Beam Tribe. The question of what is Beam Tribe, you know, the way that our team has answered this question has varied a lot over the past four months. And you know, the analogy I use is sort of like a baby human coming into the world, right? It doesn't really have a personality. It's not really sure what it wants to grow up to be for a little while. And so, you know, those different answers reflected what we thought Beam Tribe should be. But as time went on, you know, that little adolescent or that little child started to grow up and now kind of knows what, what it is. And so our team has settled on a simple answer that really encompasses the essence of this project and you know we realized along the way that although how people will use the beam tribe platform might vary depending on their lives and the stage of their health process that they're on beam tribe at its core is a health community so i think a good way to finish off the story of beam tribe is to talk about our vision our promise and the future of this tribe and the vision is really simple it's to create the most amazing connected helpful and supportive health community in the world. Our promise is to work every day towards the relentless pursuit of improvement. Uh, that'll be accomplished through listening to our members. That is who we work for and that is where the primary feedback of how to get better is going to come from. And the pursuit of perfection, the pursuit of improvement really comes from improving both the content that we share and also the platform itself within TFC app, which we call home. The future in Beam Tribe involves a couple different things. It involves innovating features that deepen our community connection. It involves creating content that simplifies health 
and guides our community in the process of changing behaviors. We plan to have one-on-one -on -one help available to community members in need of deeper guidance. And we also want to create programs that allows us to educate members on becoming those helpers. Right? If they want to help other people in the community, create a way for people who are further along their health journey to help those that are just starting. And a really important part with TFC that has been the case since we first started our experiences. You know, experience has always been a big part of what we do and how we can create these strong bonds and connections between the people within our global community. And so we plan to create some amazing experiences where members can gather locally to move, to breathe, to dance, to balance, um, but most important of all, to truly connect in person with each other and deepen that glue that holds this global community together. Thank you for watching this video. We hope that you enjoyed hearing the story of Beam Tribe and from the whole Beam team and the whole TFC community, we look forward to welcoming you into the Beam Tribe community. We're grateful for your support and we're excited to work together to create an amazing community that supports us all on our individual pursuit of health progress. Boom. Do you want to hold it? Just say something? Yes. All right, I'll just, I'll do a couple, because there's a couple of things that I was around this morning and I was like, it's so weird that I'm thinking of this. Like I was gonna take my watch off, I took it off. I literally had a white watch of skin because I have such a watch stand. I was like, the watch needs to stay on. <laughs> yeah, I'm not sure like with the hand thing. Like I said, the stool is like great for hip mobility, but I don't really know. I like tried five different positions. They all felt weird. Like I felt like Ricky Bobby. What do I do with this? Do I do it before? Like what's protocol? <laughs> do I do this, put it down and then go? Yeah. Okay, let's do that. That's a wrap. <laughs>